So as Patrick said, we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to go to some uh, some uh, rifle rifle calibers. Um, we're going to start out with the uh, 300 Blackout out of a short seven and a half inch barrel. Um, this is a uh, uh, Pommel State Arms um, 300 Blackout pistol. Um, I have two rounds two rounds loaded. The first one I shoot will be a uh, subsonic. Uh, below um, speed of sound, the second will be supersonic. So we'll see how it does. All right. All right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up and then get our eyes and ears on. Eyes and ears. I'm going to have you hold this for me, Patrick. No problem. Yeah. We'll get safe here. All right. Awesome. All right. Subsonic, supersonic. You definitely feel a difference in the in the kick on that one. Yes, you can hear it too. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are we are clear. Clear. All right. All right. All right. Cole, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. All right. That group is beautiful. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. See some holes in there. Some, see some round features in there. Yeah. Oh, I feel some uh, some splay in there. Uh oh. Definitely feel some splay you in there. You know what though? I don't think the subsonic went through. I think you're right on that one. I think the damage was the, was the second one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we experienced a first failure, folks. This is, uh, we used 300 blackout, we had subsonic, and we had sonic. Mm -hmm. The subsonic was stopped by the vest, mm -hmm. as expected, because yeah. it's not moving as fast. It has the same mass, but it's not moving as fast. Mm -hmm. The sonic round, it looks to me... Until we confirm it, but it looks, we feel some, uh, some splay in the back here. So we think it, it looks like it may have poked through. Yep. Yeah. But here we go. All right. All right. All right, folks, for the next round of uh, demonstration, no pun intended, we're <laughs> going to use shotgun, all right? So with the shotgun, you have all different types of shot. I'm not even going to mess around with the bird shot and the light stuff. The lightest stuff I have right now is a number four shot, uh, but it's out of a magnum, so it's, it's still going to give a nice little wallop, and it's a small enough penetrate, uh, small enough um, uh, ballistic that it may or may not go through. But we're going to start off with a number four shot. Then we're going to move it up. And we're going to use a buckshot, so a low brass buckshot or, or low velocity buckshot. And then we're going to use a high brass buckshot or a magnum buckshot. Then we'll go to the slugs. I have two different, or actually I have three different slugs here. Um, one of the slugs is going to be just a standard slug. Second slug is going to be a magnum slug. And then your third slug will be the Hornady critical duty slug. And that's moving at over 2,000 feet per second. Looking forward to seeing that. All right. Alright, eyes and ears everybody, first shot, this is going to be a number four Remington Express, this is going to be a uh, uh, two or three quarter inch shell I believe, or I forget the size of this, but it's a high brass shell, it's, it's, it's about two three quarters, yeah, yeah, it's, gonna, it's really going to put a wall upon it and all over the place, but hopefully we won't get any penetration, so going hot, eyes and ears, Somebody pick up uh, <laughs> our poor dummy here. Let's see. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. No, he didn't. Oh, well, okay. I don't see anything besides that first round. I don't know. It feels bigger. Yeah. We'll have to do some analysis after. Yeah, we'll have to cut it open and see. Yeah. It. Well, you know what? Get a finger. Whoa. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot in there. <laughs> Don't put your finger in there. <laughs> yep. It's still sizzling. Yep. It's still cooking in there. But I tell you what, I, I didn't feel a, I, I, I could I couldn't get my finger through. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, I could kind of feel way up in there, but nothing. I didn't feel like a pathway through to the. You can see some of the, the steel comes the lids coming out. Yeah. 
<laughs> so folks, we got a uh, little tiny, this is number four shot. It's a very small shot. It's like a little bird shot here. Um, but it's it's moving. That one was moving pretty quick there. We'll look up the specs and throw them up on the video there. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it went through. It definitely has a concentration hit. I mean, yeah, that's a very uh, you know uh, concentric hit. Yes. I mean that ground is impressive. Yes. That that's uh, very controlled. That's a solid hit there. Yeah. So. All right. All right. The next one. Um, let's go with the standard brass. Standard brass book. Buck shot. This is a nine pellet double lot buck moving at 1325 feet per second. So it's still it's still moving. Alright, we are going to go hot. Going hot. Eyes and ears, everybody. Yep. Uh, for this one I'll aim a little bit lower. Yeah. Lower to the right. Well actually, maybe. you know what? This is still buck though. I shouldn't aim that low. I might get a little spray back. I'll have to aim pretty much about an inch above that spot. Yeah, that's probably safest. Yeah. Because we are close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are hot, folks. This is going to be the Fiocchi uh, nine pellet buckshot moving at 1325 feet per second. Going hot. Eyes and ears, everybody. He's definitely going to fall over. Here we go. He didn't like it. Clear. Clear. All right, let's take a look at this. Wow, look at this, look at this back face deformation on this. Oh, oh it smoke, did yeah, through. it did not go through, did folks. Go through. But let me tell you what, that's about a softball size deformation. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's a, really like that, yeah. a good handful. Yeah. Wow. It did not go through, though. It did not go through, and that's a concentrated shot, too. Mm -hmm. It didn't yeah. allow to spray. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, folks, the next round that we're going to use is a Fiocchi 12 gauge moving at 15, I'm trying to read this, 1560 feet per second. It's a rifled slug um, Fiocchi here. This thing is really going to be a concentration of power plus the mass. I really, I'm nervous about this one. I don't know if this can handle it. It's at this range. Yeah, Ooh. this is like a. I mean, if you ever snuck up on a deer and you got this close, <laughs> you're gonna drop the deer. <laughs> All right, we are clear. So I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. All right. Eyes and ears, everybody. Eyes and ears. I'm gonna aim for the lower left-hand side of it. Gotcha. All right. Going hot. All right. He didn't like it. Clear. All right. We got to figure out which side is the front, which All side's right. back. <laughs> Holy smokes! Look at this back. <laughs> it stopped it though. It did it too. Woo! Now, it did. now, one thing to think about though is um, there's not a lot of. Mass back here and stop it, so it's yeah. more like a like a curtain, you know. It's just yeah, it's just gonna yeah yeah force its way through yeah. there. So holy it, smokes! Yeah. So That's, did not go through. It did not go through, folks. It did not go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this back face deformation on, on that particular slug is pretty solid. So I mean, we, that's we need to push it back. Oh yeah, I think we should yeah, just to kind of if we can. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely it's like a here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No hole, though. No hole. Besides the uh, entry into the material, but the material stopped everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is going to be interesting, folks. All right. All right. Yeah, really good shot right there. Yeah. Mark, do you want to load up on? Yeah. You want to do that? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Which one do you want to do? Do you want to do the, the next slug, or do you want to do the 15 pellet double lock buck? Oh, oh, three inch? Yeah. See how it does it? He makes me do three inch. <laughs> how generous are you? Yeah, guys? you know. <laughs> yeah, get my shoulder ready. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is loading in to his shotgun right now is a 15 pellet high brass Remington Magnum load. Yep. This thing is a three inch shell. 
this will really, really take a while. But I'm expecting to pick up that uh, that vest over in the berm in the background. So we'll <laughs> we'll see how well he does here. All right. Wow. Go ahead, Mark. He's All good. Right. You clear? Clear. All right. This is a uh, this is a Mossberg 930 XPS. So, all right. Let's see if we can get it to work for us today. Going hot. <laughs> we are clear. We're clear. Clear. Yes, sir. Clear. All right. Look at the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Buddy here. <laughs> All right, folks, we saved the best for last. This is the Hornady SST shotgun slug. This is moving at over 2,000 feet per second. It has that projectile tip that Hornady is known for. Imagine this thing coming right at you. Woo! This thing is moving. 300 grains moving at 2,000 feet per second. I don't think the vest is going to hold up to it, but we saved it the best for last. And my shoulder is going to definitely thank me for it a little later. <laughs> it's not the day. It's not the day. Here we go, folks. I am hot. Are All right. we ready? All right, let's do it. Grand finale. Here we go. Going up on target. Going hot. <laughs> oh, Dave. Did you fireball on the thing? Dude. <laughs> Woo! Did you see the fireball? I did. <laughs> are you, are you, are we, I'm good. I'm clear. I'm clear. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby. All right, folks, well, we are done. We have fired pretty much all we can fire at it within reason. <laughs> and body armor, direct body armor held up. Held up. Yes. Were you yes. surprised? I was very, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, because you saw the test. You saw the actual test, so I didn't know how if you were like. Yeah. What was. Yeah, we, uh, the test that I saw, we did uh, a three mag mag dump. Mm -hmm. Um and then, uh, yeah, so that was well over 50 rounds into it, and it didn't didn't even budge. But that mm -hmm. was with normal pistol caliber, mm -hmm. or normal pistol size uh, calibers. Mm -hmm. Today we fired slugs, mm -hmm. 300 blackout, mm -hmm. subsonic. Yep. I mean, it was successful at blocking all of that stuff. Yep. Um, and the slug that really surprised me the most was this Hornady, mm -hmm. the SST shotgun slug. Um, 300 grains moving at 2,000 feet per second, and it stopped it. Yep. It stopped it. That's just simply amazing. Um, definitely uh, would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would definitely feel it. But you have a fighting chance. Okay. Yes, you might have a and fighting chance. And keep in chance. mind, the distances that we're shooting at were not yeah. standard distances for this type of round. That's absolutely correct. I mean, as Mark mentions, we shot this thing at pretty much point-blank range. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the edge of the uh, the barrel to, yeah. the, to the first surface of the material, we're only talking about maybe five to six, maybe ten feet max. 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 Yeah. Uh, this is point-blank range, especially for a shotgun. Mm -hmm. um, and... Yeah, this was just simply amazing. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank Mark. Mark here from Two Swords Tactical. Oh yeah, um, thanks Mar for inviting me. Had a great time. Yes, Had yes. It's time. uh, this was really amazing here, and uh, the ammo was supplied from thegunfood.com. Please visit our website, thegunfood.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we have plenty of ammunition in stock and available, and we're not going to lie to you like some of these other websites do online. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and for, and for your shooting needs, if uh, I have inventory and I also do training, so feel free to reach out to Two Swords Tactical and Defense in Lithonia, Georgia, and uh, we'll get you signed up or get you whatever you need. I'm a full-fledged uh, FFL, so we can take care of you there as well. So you can get the gun from me and the ammo from Patrick, yep. and I'll get you set up. And let's <laughs> not forget, Body Armor Direct, thank you so yes, much. Yes, definitely. Dave in particular, definitely. your your product works well. I wear it every day. Mark just purchased his. Looking He's going to have his going. Yep. And Body Armor Direct, they are a USA manufacturer. Yep. It, their products are NIJ certified level 3 body armor. This is the real stuff, guys. This is not uh, Chinese knockoff stuff. Mm -hmm. This is not imported from mm -hmm. someplace. As well as, this is made here in the USA. That's, yep. that's the key important. thing. Very important. Yes. Yep. Yes. So thank you, Dave, for uh, supplying the uh, thank you so sample much. here. Yep. As Very you can impressed. see, Very we impressed. beat it up today and we it did. survived. We did. We really did. Yep. You can see with all the uh, all the hardware we put to it, and it survived. So very impressive. All right, folks. Well, thanks again for watching us. Uh, 
test out this body armor with all our favorite rounds and our favorite guns here. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, we'll do this again. Yes, we will. Yep. We will. Because we have more guns. We do have, we have more. We do more testing. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because <laughs> I can get all the guns we need and you can get all the ammo we need. So, that's right. So this, that's right. this is just one of many. It's a perfect call. <laughs> a perfect, perfect little thing we got going on here.